Hello everyone, today I'm going to be partaking in playing Shadow of the Hedgehog for the PlayStation 2. Unfortunately, all the space on my memory card has been depleted, therefore I'm going to be unable to save the game. Now, based on my recollection, I've only played this game once thus far. Does this game have merit? Does it warrant a discounted price? Well, I believe so. I'm an avid Sonic the Hedgehog fan, so naturally I have a propensity to love Sonic the Hedgehog video games. Shadow the Hedgehog. Why does that name haunt me? It's the only thing I can remember. And that gruesome image. Maria! Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And who is this Maria? How do you know I'm Shadow? And what are you talking about? Just what was that all about? If he says he knows the truth about who I am, then like it or not, I have to believe him. The only way I'm gonna get the secrets to my past is to get those Chaos Emeralds. Now this game is a stark co contrast of a uh, typical Sonic the Hedgehog game since it features Shadow the Hedgehog as opposed to Sonic the Hedgehog. Now bear in mind that Shadow the Hedgehog is Sonic the Hedgehog's arch nemesis. So um, e even though the antagonist has become protagonist in this video game, the gameplay still resembles a typical Sonic the Hedgehog video game. You're able to move swiftly throughout the levels. And you're able to roam freely throughout the levels. I believe this game has a gun mechanic implemented within it. At the moment, I'm experiencing lag. I'm not playing this game on my CRT TV, so there's a bit of a delay. So the controls feel extremely stiff. I love the idea that Sonic and AD in battle. In most Sonic the Hedgehog games, your Typically soloing the level. To the contrary, in the Shadow of the Hedgehog video game, Sonic can assist you in battle. Unfortunately, I'm being overwhelmed by enemy attacks. Damn, not here. The entire city's on fire. Hey Shadow, long time no see. Looks like this black this can't really be. mean business. 